And now that the Omicron variant is here in Colorado, our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, is here to provide some context. You know, there's so much unknown about this virus, how it's going to behave, how it's going to transmit among people. But the main message today is let's not panic. It's so true, you know, and, and I think about it, it feels like deja vu to me. Mm -hmm. It feels like we're in the same place where we were last year when we discovered our first case here in Colorado with the original Wuhan virus, but we're in a so much better place because we know how it spreads. We know how to mitigate it. We think the vaccines will offer partial protection and we're working really hard to try to figure out how we can protect ourselves with respect to immunity. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about the difference between last year and now, let's talk about how scientists are looking at variants differently. Say today, because we're several variants in now, how far are we in the Greek alphabet, right? Down to Omicron. So what's the difference between how they're looking at variants today compared to a year ago? I think we are much more calculated. We are many steps ahead of the variant. This time around and being able to adopt genotyping so quickly by finding out that there's a new variant out there we've already discovered it here so I think identifying the variant is the biggest piece of it and then characterizing it is the next piece of it and that's two things we've learned over the last year and a half to really do at a very quick speed compared to where we were before. And at this point, there's no reason to change our behavior to keep doing the things that have been effective. I would say not for Omicron, but with Delta, yes. So let's not forget about Delta because here in Colorado, especially, we've got a lot of cases. We've got a lot of positivity and heading into the winter months where we know that transmission is more effective because of cold, dry weather, which we haven't yet had, but we expect <laughs> to have if Danielle tells Eventually. us that. Right? Eventually. So when that does happen, Happen, we will think that the transmission is going to increase. We expect a spike. So I have just started putting my guard up just a little bit more than I did a month ago. For example, last night there was a happy hour for work. And when I went, I decided it's a congregate indoor setting. There's people I don't know their vaccination status. So I'm going to keep that mask on, except when I'm eating or drinking. We're also coming up on holiday season, which means a lot more happy hours, a lot of family gatherings. Any thoughts moving into that season with Omicron, with Delta still circulating? So I would say it's Start to prepare just by getting yourself vaccinated or boosted. That's the most important intervention, especially come Christmas time, because it's the right time period for that immunity to really peak. But I would also say you want to continue to make sure that you're only gathering with people that are vaccinated. You're really relying on testing. Let's not forget about testing. We mm -hmm. need to rely on it more so than ever. And we've seen a really dramatic drop off nationally in the number of tests that we're doing which is the opposite of the weather of what we should be doing, given what's going on. And then finally, again, I know it doesn't feel good to wear those masks, but think about it like you're stuck in a rainstorm. There's virus everywhere. Yeah. So the best protection is going to be that umbrella. Yeah. The, the governor said today it's going to take about two weeks to find out more about this new variant. Is that what you're expecting here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're, I've already started characterizing. We've already seen how the, the vaccines are responding. Essentially, what they're going to do is take the variant in the lab and then try to mix it with antibodies, both from natural infection and from the vaccines, from boosted people, from unboosted people, to try to understand how it's behaving. Now, keep in mind, this is what we're doing in the lab. Mm -hmm. Real world stuff is different because it's not just how many antibodies you have. It's how yeah. much dose of the virus you got. It's how close to somebody else you stood. It's what your underlying medical problems are. So the real world data will take a little bit longer for sure. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Pyle Coley, for joining us today.